this is Artifacts of Mars. And this story originally came from the AP. Climate decision could accelerate damage to Trump properties in Florida. Now, wait a minute. If Trump takes his signature off the climate accord, so-called climate accord, which has nothing to do with climate, in Paris, it's going to damage his properties? I'm not getting the connection here. President Trump's decision to pull out of the Paris Climate Agreement could accelerate damage to his family's real estate empire in the coming decades, especially his properties that lie just feet from the encroaching sea in low-lying South Florida. President's Mar-a-Lago Mar estate, the soaring apartment towers that bearing his name on Miami beaches and his Doral golf course are all threatened by the rising seas, according to projections from NOAA and South Florida Regional Climate Change Compact. Severe damage may come sooner rather than later if the U.S. abandons an international agreement aimed at curbing emissions of heat trapping gases that cause climate change. Its properties live off tourism, golfing communities, places where fat cats go and spend money in Hobnob. It's all related to the tourism economy in South Florida, said Jim Kaysen, Republican mayor of Coral Gables, a small city south of Miami that is aggressively planning for sea level rise. In other words, he's a rhino. South Florida roadways already flood routinely during storms or unusually high king tides, forcing cities to raise or move them and install expensive pumping systems. Trump's 123-room Mar-a-Lago mansion and private club sit on a barrier island with the Atlantic Ocean to the east and Florida's intercoastal waterway to the west. The sea level climbs by two or three feet in this century, which is laughable. The mountain that falls squarely within the scientists' predictions, they will push seawater into the mansion's western lawns. Nearby roads and bridges used to access property would also be affected. Trump's beloved National Doral Miami golf course is inland, but it's still at risk. The seas rise and Florida's water table rises. State geologists predict that Florida's porous limestone geology will allow Florida to easily per water to easily percolate upward, flooding inland and coastal areas alike. If the course isn't severely damaged by flooding, there will be more days when it's too swamped for golfers. And then it talks about uh, Trump International Tower and the Waikiki Beach and all those uh, holdings around the world. This sounds like a veiled threat, although I'm not sure what. These people really can't control the weather. It might be a type of threat where you're saying, well, if you don't do this, you don't go along with our climate uh, accords, your stuff is going to be flooded out and damaged, and you only have yourself to blame. It may not be an actual threat to take action, because I don't know what action they could take. But it does sound like a threat. Other than these people would love to... Yeah, the Army Corps of Engineers loves to do things that make matters worse. Well, in my opinion, this is a threat. So, here we have the mental disorder of liberalism again. These people never stop. They just don't stop. They're insane.
I want to thank some of our sinks for watching.